Garcia, a realtor with Keller Williams, and today I'm joined by my sister. Hi, I'm Emily Ungefer. I work in the paint and design industry, and I'm excited to share some tips and tricks with you guys. So usually when I work with sellers, I get the recommendation of painting the interior before we put it on the market. What are some go-to colors that you recommend for when painting it? Anything neutral is going to be your best bet. Right now it's a lot of warm whites, cool grays, but anything with not a lot of color in it so that buyers can see their furniture in the house without having to use too much imagination. What we've seen a lot of is alabaster, either white, repose gray, and agreeable gray. I've never had a customer choose those and dislike them. If I wanted to hire a contractor or I just don't know where to start with picking a color, where should I go? get those recommendations. It can be extremely overwhelming, especially with the number of colors that are out there from all the different paint contractors and companies. Uh, I would start at an actual paint store. Sometimes when you go to the big box stores, they have to know a little bit about everything and therefore they don't know a lot about paint. Mm -hmm. So going to some place like Sherwin-Williams, they have brochures that can show you different colors. They have people whose sole job is to know about paint, answer all the questions. And my favorite part is they have a whole wall of contractors business cards that they can recommend. Mm -hmm. You can ask questions about whether or not you see them on a daily basis, whether or not you let them in your own house. And it's kind of nice to get that reassurance from someone close by. So once you have the contractor in your house giving you a quote, what are some questions you can ask to help determine that's the contractor for you? So I always ask for recommendations. They want to show off their work, they're proud of their work, and if they're not proud of their work, you don't want them in your house. You know what I'm saying? So what I like to do is I always recommend a good, better, best quote from your contractor. You can see what's gonna be the best bang for your buck and what's gonna get you the best possible finish inside your home but might end up costing you a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Ask them some questions about their crew. Are they licensed? Are they insured? Is it gonna be them inside their home, inside your home? You don't want to build a relationship with a contractor but like you can trust them and find out that he's sending a crew that maybe you don't know in. It's important to ask these questions ahead of time. That way you feel the most comfortable with who's doing the work inside your home. If you decide DIY is more how you wanna do it, what are some tips for maybe equipment or how you should go about painting your own home? DIY is awesome. We've all watched HGTV. We all feel like we can be Chip and Joanna Gaines. Um, but some of the things they don't show you is prep work. Prep work is key. You want to make sure everything looks good because no matter how well your paint is put, how good your paint is, mm -hmm. if you don't have it prepped correctly, it's not going to stay on the wall. So go to that paint store, ask what you need to do. Invest in a good roller, invest in a good brush. Make sure you're priming your walls. Making sure to do everything correct before you put the paint on is going to give you the best possible result and something that you can be proud of because you did it yourself. Great. Well, thanks for your tips. I appreciate you sharing them with us. Thanks so much for having me today. And if you guys have any questions for me or for Laura, comment below.